We're here at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and we are gonna do all the rides, all the shows. We're gonna meet some characters. We're gonna eat all the food. We're gonna do it all here tonight. Are you ready to have a ghoulishly good time? Let's go do it. Yo ho ho everybody, this is Rob with Ear Scouts. We are here at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party for the very first night. This party has not happened for two years. We are so excited that it's back. We're about to head inside right now and get our very first treat of the night, which is a free trick or treat bag. Number two, we're gonna do all the rides that have special overlays for this event. We're gonna see the shows, including the amazing fireworks show. We're gonna meet really unique characters that you don't find all year round. And you're gonna find some regular characters that are in special costumes you won't find all year round. We have got so much to do. Let's yo-ho go and do it. So the event hasn't even officially started yet. Already gotten my first trick or treat stop in. And I'm gonna head over now to Pirates of the Caribbean because, well, I mean, clearly I need to make my first stop Pirates of the Caribbean, but also I forgot my hook at home. So hoping we can get a hook for tonight's adventure. Fingers crossed. I feel like we're doing the Ear Scouts Halloween special tonight. What's really awesome, I just met three groups of you guys as I was coming in. We love, love, love meeting the folks who watch our channel. So I feel like when you come to Disney World dressed as Captain Hook, you're required to ride two rides while you're there. You gotta ride Pirates of the Caribbean and you gotta ride Peter Pan's Flight. Since we're over here, let's go ahead and knock out Pirates. So there's no special ride overlay for this ride, but I wanted to show you one of the cool things about doing events like this is a really short wait time. So this one's actually got a posted wait of 10 minutes. Let's see how long it takes to ride. ride is down it was actually a walk-on posted 10 minutes actual zero minutes that's my kind of wait now let's get down to business we need to find a hook mission accomplished the hook has been acquired I actually walked out of the house and as soon as I was in the car on my way to Disney World I realized I forgot the hook so obviously the other ride I have got to ride tonight is Peter Pan's Flight. This event doesn't actually officially start until seven o'clock. We can't eat any of the treats yet. We can't meet the characters. I think we should go ride Peter Pan. It's got a posted 40 minute wait. I'm hoping that's gonna be a little bit inflated. Let's go find out. So just for the record right now, Small World is at a five minute wait. Peter Pan's Flight usually has one of the longest wait times in the park. But right now there's no lightning lane, so the line is gonna move a lot faster than it normally does. Definitely, if you can ride this ride when there's no lightning lane running, that is the time to do it. It was a posted 40 minutes, but it actually only took us 22 minutes, so we are off to Neverland. you're wondering, yes, it is more fun to ride Peter Pan's flight when you're dressed as Captain Hook. Aye! <laughs> I am now really, really starving, which is great because we have a ton of stuff to eat tonight. Let's talk for a quick second about food at this event. What we're going to check out are some of the amazing treats that are only available for this event. Now, to be clear, this is not all of the treats that are available for Halloween. There are a ton of Halloween treats that are available all day long. These treats that we're showing you in the list here, these are the ones that are only available for this event. So you cannot get these during the regular park day. Time to trick or treat. I don't know if you heard that, but the clock was just striking seven, which means this event has officially started. Let's go eat. All 
right, this is the Hades hot dog, spicy beef and pork hot dog, Hades relish and pickles, topped with house-made violet mustard. Then we've got the Un Poco Loco tots, which is chorizo sausage, green onions, and Hades cheese sauce. I am famished, so I am super excited to try this hot dog. Man, that is spicy. That is like really, really spicy. Not Disney Mickey spicy, that's real spicy. It's good too. Honestly, if that were available all year round, I think I would come back for that. We've got that sweet and sour pickle flavor and then just, man, a punch of spice. I'm really not sure what the spice is coming from. The mustard is really spicy. I think the hot dog is spicy and the mustard is spicy. So the two come together to make it extra, extra spicy. Magic Kingdom, to be honest, is not known for having the best food, especially the quick service food leads a little bit to be desired. So I'm loving that there's this delicious option here at the Friars Nook. Now I'm kind of pumped to try these Poco Loco nachos. Got a bite with pretty much everything on there. Oh yeah, spicy. Not as spicy as the hot dog, but definitely spicy. The chorizo is delicious. The cheese sauce is pretty standard, Friars Nook cheese sauce, but it, the chorizo is really the star on this one. It's very, very tasty. Both of these items, if these were on the regular menu all day long, I would totally be here for this meal. Do not eat before you come to Magic Kingdom. Wait till you get here and try these dishes at Friars Nook. They are delicious. So all the trick or treat locations are in the map that's inside of your guide, but it's really not hard to find them. There are these huge inflated kind of beacons that light up at night. So that's where you're gonna head to if you wanna get a candy fix. It's our first character interaction and we just missed them. The gang for the 100 Acre Wood was out here appropriately enough beside 100 Acre Goods. Hopefully they'll be back out later tonight and we can say hi. So one question we've gotten a lot in the comments about events like Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is, can you use Disney Genie Plus? And the answer is no. Disney does not make Genie Plus available at these events because they want the standby lines to move very, very quickly. When you have a lightning lane, it really slows up that standby line. And that's kind of the big appeal of these events. The crowd is limited, so the standby lines aren't that long to begin with. And because there's no Genie Plus, they move really, really fast. That's what we're here for. Not so poison apple pie milkshake. It's not so poisonous. It's a little poisonous. Mm. This is a delightful little treat. I love all the flavors. It's kind of hard to get them all together though. So let's see. That is delightful. So here's what's going on. If you've had the apple pie shake that's over at the New Connections Eatery, it tastes very much like that. It might be the exact same shake, honestly. But what makes this one super fun is the green whipped cream is actually like a sour apple. It's like an apple Jolly Rancher flavor, which actually goes quite nicely with the creamy, richer version of apple pie milkshake below it. And then there's kind of like a cinnamon sugar donut hole uh, that is stuck on top. The donut hole is fine. It's nothing to write home about. But I really love the flavors of the, the really rich, creamy apple pie shake with the sort of tart, candy apple flavor on the top. This is, again, third treat of the day, third winner for me. I would definitely come back for this. So far, all three things we've tried have been super tasty, super original, and among my favorites of the uh, special event food I've had here at Disney World. Oh my gosh, it's Sully! So do you remember that Halloween when you were officially too old to go trick-or-treating and kind of how sad maybe you felt about it? Well, when you come to Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party, you're never too old to go trick-or-treating. Is one of my favorite things about this event. Let's go trick or treat. Our first trick or treating stop is here at Carousel of Progress. I really hope old Uncle Orville answers the door. So look who I just ran into. This is Pete Carney of Adventures by Carney. 
Let me tell you guys, if you have not subscribed to Pete's channel, tell them about your channel. Uh, so our channel, we do a lot of live streams all around Walt Disney World, as well as Universal, SeaWorld, Gator, and everywhere else we go around the country. We love traveling, but we are at Disney a lot. We do a lot of live streams, and we're just about bringing positivity and fun to everybody and just keeping everyone's vibe up. There's a lot going on in this world, so let's just have fun and smile. And that is why I sent a lot of my followers over to Ear Scouts as well, because uh, I think we're on the same page. I think you bring a lot of people happiness, and that's all we're out to do. So. Yeah, give it, check us out. I hope, hopefully you enjoy it. Trick or treat. So let's see what I got. That's a pretty good haul for my first trick or treat stop. I got some Starburst. I got some Snickers Mini. We basically got a lot of Starburst and Snickers Mini. But that is added to the M&Ms from the first stop. Now, let's go check out a show. So there are actually three attractions here at Magic Kingdom that have special overlays for this event. So there's the Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor has a special kind of show that's just for this event. There's also an overlay at Space Mountain and at the Mad Tea Party. Let's start by checking out this Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor show. Hi, how are you? What, what's your name? Brenna. Brenna! Oh, Brenna, where are you from? Connecticut. Ooh, konnichiwa. <laughs> You guys are amazing. Oh, you went all out. I love it. Not crazy about the overlay for Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor, to be honest. Basically, it's kind of a very reduced version of the show that you can see while you come through to Trick or Treat. I get why they did it. They wanted it to be a Trick or Treat stop, and they wanted people to just be able to quickly grab a taste of the show, but you definitely don't get the full show experience when you do it for Mickey's Not So Scary. So this is super cool. This is the area where Stitch's Great Escape used to be. And normally you can't get back here, but they've opened it up and there are these little photo op spots. Super fun little addition that I had no idea we were gonna find. I am loving the Space Mountain glow up. It looks really cool from the outside. Let's see what's different on the inside. came back out into a rainy Tomorrowland. I'm guessing in this video, you're gonna see a black screen when I show you Space Mountain because there is no light. It is completely dark inside that ride for this overlay. And there's some really scary music. Well, moderately scary, not so scary music actually, I think is the more appropriate term. There is some not so scary music playing. It definitely makes that ride a little bit scarier because you really can't see anything. You have no idea when the, the twists and turns are coming. It's already a pretty dark ride, but it's extra dark for this installment. So if that's your favorite part of Space Mountain, kind of the surprise thrills and chills, you're gonna like this version. Also, the music does add a special kind of touch. All right, there is one last overlay we are gonna go check out over here at the Mad Tea Party. Let's see what that's all about. The Mad Tea Party's got a fun little overlay. It's basically, there's a lot of fog effects. There's a light show in there and kind of a spooky and kooky soundtrack going on in there. Let's go give it a whirl. I am shocked. We have done all the rides with overlays now and my favorite, without a doubt, is the Mad Tea Party. Mad Tea Party was awesome. We still have a ton of food to eat. And then of course, there is the Villain Spectacular featuring the Sanderson sisters. So excited about that stage show in front of the castle, that is coming up. And the Big Kahuna, the Boo to You Parade is still yet to come. So a lot to fit in for the rest of the night. I hope this rain goes away. Boo to you, Rain. Boo to you. We are going to head onward and get some treats. So we're over here by Rapunzel's Tower. And it's just lit up beautifully. Kind of spooky. 
I just want to show you guys this spot. Over here at the Liberty Square ticket office, there's an allergy-friendly trick-or-treat spot. Well, the rain definitely put a damper on things, pun intended. It's a little rough out there. It is thundering, it is lightning. It definitely feels like Halloween though. Pecos Bill feels a little bit like a storm shelter right now. There's just a ton of people in here just kind of sheltering. But we are gonna try this delicious looking candy corn cake, which it really does look like corn. It looks like a corn on the cob. Kind of dry, honestly. Kind of tastes like a dry, dense, a little sweet cornbread. The sweetness is really coming from the glaze that's on top. The cake is a little sweet as well, but not overly sweet. Not one of my favorites. Of all the things we've tried, I would say this one is one to skip, unless you just want a really cool photo. Time for a very rainy version of Mickey's Not So Spooky Spectacular. Good evening, trick-or-treaters. A hex of inclement weather has delayed our Not So Spooky Spectacular. We thank you for your understanding and do hope to begin as soon as possible. Happy Halloween! Sadly, we did not get to see the full version of the Spelltacular. The weather kind of rained it out. 
We did get to see a taste of the show, which I was really grateful that they did that for everyone who's here because, you know, this is your only night to see this stuff. You can't come back tomorrow like you can with a regular park event. So I think the lesson learned is if a show is really important to you, you kind of need to prioritize it earlier in the night, especially if it's weather dependent. Like, well, we had a spectacular night, or should I say a spooktacular night here at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Until next time, don't forget to think happy thoughts, everybody. We'll see you again real soon.